I got a package from Timo, so we're gonna open that now. Um, so yeah. Hello. Hi. Obviously, I need another one of this because I just underestimated how much I was gonna get. Some more pins because the short ones really were not given. Although this is very little. And then we got oh for the Ike necklace. That's so oh, it's so good. And then some stars. Some hearts, some blue hearts. So obviously, as you can tell, this is blue theme. <gasps> the feathers. Oh, how am I gonna make this work? I don't have the design yet, but some pearls. More O-rings. I should have bought more. That's not enough. Some stars. The heck? Oh, <laughs> I forgot what I bought. These are really pretty. It gives like even. I don't know why, but it does. It does. So I'm gonna use that. Oh, this is such a this is gonna be such a pretty keychain. I don't know about the necklace, but wow, those are so small. Yikes. I don't think I'm gonna use the small ones, but whoa. Yeah, those are gonna get lost immediately. Um, I thought I left something else, but cool. Okay, so time to do a TikTok. All right, so I've decided that the clay charm just isn't going to work it it won't look as good as how the stargazer one looked this one is just very messy very bleh so what i would do is just i will put it like an extra like a freebie to whoever buys the um whoever buys the necklace from me would just get a free cauldron charm just because i it's not the quality that i want to show my customers my audience so unfortunately um it did take a lot of time to do but and i did buy a lot of things for it but ultimately it's just how it is i am not going to be able to include it in the necklace or the charm and or the keychain itself but it will be a freebie for whoever buys either one so the first order would the clay charm would just go to it so i'm a little saddened but let's continue with the actual just necklace and stuff so here's what i came up with the necklace i'm not really sure about the feathers on the side but I'm gonna try to see if I can, well, I'm going to put it on and see how it falls on the neck. Um, if it's pretty, then I'll leave it on. If not, then I'll just change it to like more moons or like more stars just to make that cohesive. And then here is the keychain, very simple, um, but I think it's very cute. So this is definitely not Ike Evelyn, but it's very Ike Evelyn, ex um, Ike Evelyn inspired, so yeah. Usually making keychains and necklaces is very therapeutic for me, but this Ike Evelyn inspired keychain was literally the opposite and let me tell you why. First, I made a charm just like I made a Uki Violetta charm for his necklace and this one just became so dirty. Like as you can see, there's cat hairs because my older sister lets their, her cats in my room and it just got dirty. I don't even know what that brown stuff is but anyways it's useless i can't use it for this and then my one step looper stopped working it would make the loop but not cut the wire which it's supposed to cut the wire it's supposed to cut the excess but it didn't it started malfunctioning when i switched to a longer eye pin and i'm not sure what the reason for that is 
This was the eye pins that I used for my previous necklaces. You can go and see on my account that they look a lot better than what this keychain turned out to be. Although with the little eye pin there was problems, I actually preferred the little one than the big one. I also was constantly dropping beads and my o-rings everywhere and I'm not sure why but I got really mad and threw my pliers and more beads got everywhere and I, now I have to find them. Unlike the other ones, this keychain is really bad wire wise. The o-rings are not closed all the way when usually I do them very smooth. And as you can see, I had to manually cut the ends of the loops because the one-step loser did not do its job. Overall, the wiring just really irks me. It's unfortunate because I really like the charms that I used for this Ike Evelyn keychain. I think it represents him um, really well in my opinion. But just, I can't get past how the wires look. But let me know, would you still buy this even with all the scuff? Should I still put it in my shop opening next month? Like, let me know what I should do with this keychain. Wow, this is such an, a bad shirt to like show you, but I am going to work right now, so. Um, but anyway, this is how it looks like. I don't love it. Um, it's cute though, like it's wearable. Um, but it's not like I don't love it so I've never felt any shorter but yeah, I'm gonna wear it to work I wore my stay clear bear necklace before and no one really cared but maybe because it was too simple so maybe this one there's an event at work so maybe some customers will be like oh that's cute and I'm like thanks I made it anyways yeah, this is how it turned out. Um, thank you so much for watching this train wreck. Um, I don't know what my next video will be, but it's probably something to do with jewelry making again. Um, maybe I'll do a pause and do some designs in between videos so I don't get burnt out. But I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all, and I'll see you in the next one.